everyone and welcome back to our kitchen. Today we're going to make shrimp stew. Before we get started with the recipe, we're going to go over the ingredients really quick. To prepare the sauce, we're going to need half an onion roughly chopped, four large garlic cloves, four to five Roma tomatoes cut into fourths, two chile guajillos cut into half inch pieces, and to add a little bit of spice, I'm going to add two serrano peppers. These are just cut into rounds. But if you don't want your spicy, you can leave these out completely. Or you can substitute the serranos for a small handful of chiles de arbol. And to saute our vegetables, we're going to need a third of a cup of vegetable oil, corn oil, or olive oil, whichever one you prefer. One teaspoon of chili powder and half a teaspoon of black pepper. And I'm also going to use two envelopes of this seasoning. This is sazón goya con azafrán. We're also gonna need about one ounce of dry shrimp. And for vegetables, we're gonna use two potatoes, two carrots, two small zucchinis, two corns cut into rounds like this. And we're also gonna use a pound of shrimp. You can actually use the selection of shrimp that you wanna use, you can go bigger or smaller. For us, we're gonna use a medium style shrimp. And we did clean the top delaying the top and also the bottom. It's your choice to clean the bottom, but for us, might as well just have it nice and clean because it is gonna go in the stew. But as you can see, we took our time, took them off and cut them, but you need about a pound. And also we're gonna use two 32 ounces of vegetable broth. Let's get started with the recipe. <laughs> First, we're gonna saute the vegetables, and for that, we're gonna heat up our oil over medium-high heat. Once it's nice and hot, add in the onion, garlic, tomatoes, the chile guajillo, and the serrano peppers, or chiles de arbol if you're using chiles de arbol. Saute over medium-high heat for about five to seven minutes or until the tomato and the onion are lightly withered. Once everything is nice and fragrant and withered, we're gonna add in the dry shrimp. Saute for an additional two to three minutes with the shrimp. Then we're gonna transfer all the ingredients to the blender, including the shrimp. To help blend the ingredients, I'm gonna add about one and a half cups of the vegetable broth. Depending on the blender that you're using, blend for about one to two minutes or until everything is nice and smooth. Using the same pot that we sauteed the vegetables in, add a little bit of olive oil if needed. Add in the ingredients from the blender. Add some of the vegetable broth to the blender to get the remainder of the residue that's stuck to the side of the glass. Then pour it into the pot as well. Add in the chili powder, black pepper, and the sazón goya. Mix it in until everything is well incorporated, then add in the remainder of the vegetable broth. I did end up using both 32 ounces of the vegetable broth, which is about eight cups, and boil over medium heat for about five minutes. Then very carefully, we're gonna add in the corn, the carrots, the potatoes, and the chayote squash. Since the zucchini takes less cooking time, we're gonna leave that one for last. We're also gonna add a few sprigs of epazote. If you don't have epazote in your area, you can substitute it for a small handful of cilantro. Boil for about five to seven minutes, then add in the shrimp and the zucchini. Once you add in the shrimp and the zucchini, we're gonna boil for an additional five to seven minutes. At this point, you can also taste it to see if it needs additional salt or seasoning. I did add an additional tablespoon of chicken bouillon, but that is completely optional. You can also use salt or any other seasoning of your choice. Once all your vegetables are nice and tender, we're gonna turn it off and we're gonna cover for about 10 minutes before serving. Enjoy this delicious caldo de camarón year round or during Lenten season. Drizzle with a little bit of lemon juice to enhance the flavor of all the delicious ingredients. My husband loves it extra spicy, so he always adds a little bit of hot sauce. Serve with a side of warm tortillas or taquitos and enjoy. Mm. 